Hello, boys and girls. I'm your Peter Pan storyteller. This is the story of the last starfighter. This is the story of gremlins. This is the story of Tron. This is the story of Raiders of the Lost Ark. This is the story of the Empire Strikes Back. You can read along with me in your book. You can follow the story along with me. Every time you hear this sound. Every time you hear this sound. Turn the pages when you hear this sound. You will know it is time to turn the page when you hear the computer sound like this. Let's, let's begin, let's begin now. Hey kids, welcome to the latest episode of When You Hear This Sound, brought to you by the Space Monkey X Audio Workshop. This is your host, Rob Lamley. Today I have an obscure one for you. I have a Hair Bear Bunch record. You don't remember the Hair Bear Bunch? Well, that doesn't really surprise me. The Hair Bear Bunch, or its official title, Help! It's the Hair Bear Bunch, was a Hanna-Barbera cartoon that only ran for one season of 16 episodes from September 1971 until January 1972. But like a lot of cartoons from that era, it was a pretty regular rerun for the next few years. The show starred three bears, Hair Bear, Booby Bear, and Square Bear, who lived at the Wonderland Zoo under the iron thumb of zoo director Mr. Peevely and zoo keeper Lionel Botch. The storylines typically centered around the bears escaping their cave enclosure, the bears trying to get rich quick, or Peevely trying to make their lives hell and the bears turn the table on him. The show was inspired by the 1950s sitcom The Phil Silvers Show, which featured a lot of the same hijinks, but on a military base. The voice cast for the show was filled with experienced actors like Dawes Butler, who played Hair Bear. However, he is best known for creating the voices of Hanna-Barbera royalty like Yogi Bear, Huckleberry Hound, Snagglepuss, Augie Doggy, Quick Draw McGraw, Elroy Jetson, and the Funky Phantom. Side note, if you like the Funky Phantom, there's an episode of When You Hear the Sound featuring that ghostly colonist. Paul Winchell played Booby Bear, but you know him better as the original voice of Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. Square Bear was played by Bill Calloway, who played Aquaman on Super Friends, Beachhead on G.I. Joe, Clumsy Smurf on The Smurfs, and Frankie and Howler on the cult cartoon Drack Pack. Zoo director Peevely was played by John Stevenson, who had dozens of voice roles over the years, but is best known as the voice of Hanna-Barbera's Doggy Daddy and Mr. Slate, Fred's boss on the Flintstones. And finally, Joe Ross, who actually starred on the Phil Silver show, played dim-witted zookeeper Botch. He was best known for saying ooh-ooh during his dialogue whenever he got excited about something. Botch would occasionally make this sound, but it was also borrowed for the character of Fangface in the cartoon of the same name. Side note number two, there's an episode of When You Hear This Sound featuring a Fangface record, so go back and check that one out when you're done here. Joe Ross was mainly a TV actor, starring in Car 54 Where Are You, but he also provided the voice of Sergeant Flint on Hong Kong Fooey. As you might expect, there was some merchandise for the show, mainly lunchboxes, t-shirts, stuffed animals, and a comic book series by Gold Key. And obviously, there were records. There are two versions, both put out by Peter Pan Records in 1972. An LP with four stories, Hair Cuts Out, Yes We Have No Bananas, Hair There and Everywhere, and Motorcycle Madness, as well as a 45 with only one story, Hair Cuts Out. Unfortunately, I only have the 45, so it will just be one story for you today, but uh, I don't think you're going to miss the others, honestly. And with that, let's get to The Hair Bear Bunch, starring in Hair Cuts Out from 1972. Enjoy. <laughs> In the Wonderland Zoo. Where the certain bears who? Stay home every night, never quarrel or fight. We don't even bite. So don't help. Help, help, here come the bears. 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 Let's go. Help. It's the Hair Bear Bunch. <laughs> Hi there, boys and girls. Uh, this is Hair Bear speaking. Uh, you all know who I am. I am the handsome and charming bear with all the beautiful... Hair! Hair! Where is that troublemaking, double-talking ringleader? I can never find him when I want him. Oh, well, that is the voice of our beloved zookeeper, Mr. Peebly. Before he blows the buttons off his shirt, I'd better answer him. Ahem. Are looking for me, Mr. Peebly? Your humble servant, Air Bear, at your service. Pray, what is it that you desire, sir? Hair, cut out the nonsense and pay attention when I talk to you. I know you and the other bears don't think much of the rules at this zoo. Don't feel too bad, Mr. Peevely. 
We just don't think much, period. Ah, that's enough out of you, Square. As I was saying, rules are rules, and the superintendent is making his monthly inspection to see that we run this place by the book. Did you hear me? I said by the book. Ooh, ooh, what book is that, Mr. Peevely? Quiet, but you dunderhead. And the rule book says that all animals must have a neat appearance at all times, which means a haircut for you, hair. Jumping giraffes are haircut. A haircut? Surely you are joking, old beloved zookeeper. I am not joking, Hare. Rules are rules. The hair has to go. Tomorrow morning, Butch will be over to do the cutting. Ooh, ooh, I will. I will. You will. And remember, you bears, no funny stuff. What are you going to do, Hare? You can't get all your hair cut off. Without your hair, you wouldn't be her bar. And that wouldn't be far, or my name's not Squire Bar. I know your thoughts are with me in my hour of need, but thoughts are not enough. Got to get the old little working on a plan. Think, you genius. Think. You fellas turn down the TV and cut out the full plan. A bear's home is supposed to be his castle, and I can't come up with a brilliant answer with all this noise. And now, a word from our sponsor. Have you ever thought of becoming a lovelier you? Try one of our beautiful wigs and... That's it! That's it! I've got it! Why didn't I think of that? A wig? I've got to get a wig. Square, Bubby, warm up the wheels. We're going to town. Anybody looking, Bobby? Coast is clear, Hare. How about your side, Square? Not a uniform in sight, Har. And it's over the wall we go. Now, go, wheel. Here's the wig store, fellas. No time to lose. Got to get back to the old home zoo before feeding time. Feeding time? Yuck. Why'd you have to bring up that subject? Boys, boys, no time for chit-chat. I've got to put on this dress. It's wig buying time, or we'll be the no-hair bear bunch. How do I look? You think I'll look like a lady in this disguise? Why, your own mother wouldn't know you are. I'd sure get up and give you a seat on a bus any time. Enough, enough. Here I go. Yes, uh, miss? Can I help you? I, I'd like to buy a wig. Oh, of course. Perhaps you'd like to be a blonde for a change. Well, uh, no, not exactly. Something stunning in a romantic brunette style? Well, no. Uh, you see, I'm going to a costume party uh, dressed as a bear, and I'd like a large bear-type number. Well, we do have this one left over from Halloween. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Shall I wrap it? No, I I'll wear it. We'll warm up the wheels, fellas. Say, Har, that wig you bought looks just like your own Har. Fellas, fellas, let us not forget that the success of one part of this brilliant plan means nothing without the success of the rest. We've got to fool Botch tomorrow. Oh, hey, don't worry. The wig looks so great, it's sure to fool Botch. <laughs> it could even fool me in square. One hundred percent, Booby. And if you could fool smart ones like me and Booby, you sure won't have any trouble with Botch. Wake up, Botch. It's haircut day. Up, up, up. Don't forget who's first on the list. Ooh, ooh, I know, Mr. Peebly. I'm heading right over to Hair Bear. Wake up in there. It's haircut time. You first, Hair Bear. Uh, how do I look, fellas? You look just like Har Bar, Har Bar. 
Uh, try to be kind, Vach. Remember, a bear's hair is his proudest possession. Ooh, ooh, I'm sorry about this hair, but rules are rules. Ooh, ooh. I know, I know. Slip away. I'll close my eyes. All finished, Hare. Now the superintendent won't have a thing to complain about. You sure look funny without your hair, Hare. <laughs> it's a good thing it was your wig that got cut. Well, I'll just take off the wig. And here's the old hairy hair bear once more. Shall we celebrate? You. Uh oh, it's Mr. Peevely. He's looking for you, Hare. My wig. My wig. I can't find my wig. If you're not out here in one minute, Hare. Coming, sir. Coming. Hare. Your hair. It's not cut. But what is the meaning of this? You told me hair was first on your list. Oh, oh, he was, sir. I cut his hair all off. I did, I did. Tell him, Hare. Uh, he did. He did. Well, don't try to tell me it grew back in an hour. We wouldn't try to tell you that, sir. Oh, no. Oh, no, sir. Well, what's the story? It's... it's my secret formula, sir. Your secret what? You see, sir... Uh, this formula has been in my family for generations. It just grows hair. Hair? Do you know what you're saying? I do, sir. You have a formula that grows hair? My hair is getting a little thin on top. <laughs> do you think you could give me a little of it? Well, uh, that depends, sir. Uh, maybe you could persuade the superintendent to skip his visit to the bears so that we can skip the old haircut. Hair, you old... Pirate, you drive a hard bargain, yeah, but I think it can be arranged. Thanks for stopping by the show today. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes, Spotify, or your favorite podcast app. You can head over to spacemonkeyx.net for pictures, links, and additional information about this episode and check out some of the other podcasts presented by the Space Monkey X Audio Workshop. This has been your host, Rob Lamley. Thanks for listening to When You Hear This Sound, the podcast dedicated to the weird and wonderful world of read-along record books and storybook vinyl. I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>